everyone. So for this video, I am finally going to be showing you guys my entire Disney movie collection. So I wanted to originally film this video when Sam and I first moved down to the basement and for the first time in forever I was able to finally display my movies onto a shelf. So when we did first move down to the basement I was in the middle of my Disney movie marathon and I had movies constantly coming in because of my marathon so I thought I would wait until after my marathon and now my marathon is over I still constantly have movies coming in but I just recently redid my entire shelf. I used to have just the one shelf for my Disney movies, but I've recently adopted this shelf for more Disney movies. So I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. I know I constantly have movies coming in, but we're just gonna do it anyway. If you're wondering why I have my phone in my hand this entire video, it's because I have a script written out on my phone and I need to reference it or else this video is gonna be way too long and there's points I need to make that if I don't have this, I'm gonna forget. So if you're wondering why I have a f my phone in my hand constantly, that's why. Before we get into the collection, I'm going to just explain a little bit about how I organize everything and just what I have on here. So the first thing is that the bookshelves themselves are the White Billy bookcases from Ikea. And I actually brought a couple of movies to Ikea with me and kind of like measured them out on the shelf to see how many extra shelves I would need. I think the shelves standardly come with like five shelves and I obviously needed more to maximize the space. Now for the movies themselves, I used to get a lot of my movies off of Amazon. I still actually still rely on Amazon quite frequently for movies. I've also bought quite a few movies from places like Sunrise Records, Walmart. I have a few rare finds in here that I've found on eBay, but the most used place that I buy movies now is from the Disney Movie Club. I've talked about the Disney Movie Club in many other videos, so I'm not going to go too much into detail about that. However, I will say if you are a big Disney collector like I am, I highly recommend checking it out because they have some great titles that I had never seen before prior to like signing up for the Disney Movie Club. For example, The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh. I had never heard of this movie ever until I was just searching through the Disney Movie Club online and I stumbled upon this. So for the most part, my movies are organized alphabetically. It used to be when I had just the one shelf, it was like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, da, 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 da. But when we reorganized them, Sam gave the idea to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, da, 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 da. I really liked that idea. I at first thought my organizational OCD would hate it, but I actually really love how it turned out and I think it looks a lot better than having it like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, A, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S. Yeah, I don't know. That's my personal preference. But anyway, so for the most part, my movies are organized alphabetically. So we start with numbered movies. We start with 101 Dalmatians. We go to A's, we go to B's. There are a few exceptions that I have to, I like to say, my alphabet rule. So I have three exceptions for that. The first one is sequels slash prequels. So for example, if we're going by the alphabet rule, Finding Dory would be before Finding Nemo because D is before N in the alphabet. However, because Finding Dory is the sequel to Finding Nemo, it falls after it. So the next exception I have to my alphabet rule is what I like to say are is franchises. For example, this doesn't really work anymore because I have this entire collection of all the Marvel movies, but prior to owning this, I did own all 23 Marvel movies in their own separate DVD case. And when we were first originally deciding how we wanted to do this, I said, I want the Marvel movies together because they all follow the same storyline. However, if I had them alphabetically, it wouldn't make sense because it'd be like Ant-Man, The Avengers, Captain America, Captain Marvel, so on and so forth. So it wouldn't make sense to have them alphabetically. For that reason, for things that I like to say, like 
three or more films, I would say are franchises, I keep them together under one generic title. I have a few of those. Marvel is one. I keep all of my Marvel movies together under M for Marvel. The next franchise I have is Herbie. So even though the very first Herbie movie was called The Love Bug, I keep all four of my Herbie films as well as Herbie Fully Loaded together under H for Herbie. So I don't know if these necessarily count as like a franchise because it's not necessarily the, the same storyline. However, I keep all my Disney nature movies together under N for nature. Obviously, BB-8 is kind of in the way right now, but obviously I keep all of my Star Wars movies together and they all fall under the way that they were released as well. This is similar, I like to say, like my Herbie movies, I have Escape to Witch Mountain, Return from Witch Mountain, and then Race to Witch Mountain. Even though the first one is Escape to Witch Mountain, I keep these together under W because I like to say like this is the Witch Mountain franchise. And then the very last franchise I have that I keep under one title, are all of my Winnie the Pooh movies. So the very first one is The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, but like all of my Winnie the Pooh films, up and including Christopher Robin, I keep, again, under W for Winnie the Pooh. And then the last exception I have, there's only really one that falls in this exception, I suppose. I always like to keep remakes together. For the most part, remakes tend to be named the exact same thing as their original, Freaky Friday and Freaky Friday. Disney has all the new live actions that have come out, such as Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, The Lion King. So really the only thing I have that's an exception to this because it wasn't named after the original is The Absent-Minded Professor and Flubber. So I have The Absent-Minded Professor. Flubber was the remake of The Absent-Minded Professor. Even though Flubber is its own name, I like to keep it together with The Absent-Minded Professor because it was the remake to The Absent-Minded Professor. Now you may be wondering, Jody, how do you keep track of all of your movies? You have over 400. Actually, you probably weren't wondering that, but I'm gonna tell you anyway. So I actually have two very detailed lists where I keep a list of all of my movies. The first list I have is actually on my cell phone. As you can see, it is very detailed in the sense that not only do I have all my movies listed, but I also make note if they are Blu-ray or in a combo pack with anything else. I am a sucker for a combo pack because I feel like you get so much more room. Like you get two movies for the space of one. So anytime I can find a movie that's in a combo pack or a movie on Blu-ray that I don't already own on Blu-ray, I am very, very happy. Like I said, I keep this list on my cell phone. So whether I am at the mall and I see a movie in the store, I can check my phone and say, do I have this? Do I have it on Blu-ray? Do I have a combo pack of this? I always have the list on my phone ready for myself for checking these things so that if I do stumble upon something that I don't have or if I stumble upon it in a combo pack blu-ray disc I'm able to buy it and know that I'm not buying like a double of something that I already have. The second list I have is definitely not necessary however along with being a sucker for a combo pack I am a sucker for adorable notebooks and I love paper copies of things. So at the beginning of the year, I printed out my entire list of Disney movies and I went through and highlighted everything that's a Blu-ray, everything that's a combo pack. And then as you can see, I've made little notes here for movies that I've added since making this list. This is definitely not necessary, but I enjoy having it and I enjoy just making lists in general. So every year I'll probably remake this list just so that it's less messy, but I just love going through and adding things in and then like going back and seeing how much I've added. Definitely not necessary. My phone is really the only list I need. However, I just love having a like kind of paper copy list. And yes, I am very aware that I have a problem when it comes to organization and lists. So anyway, with all of that finally being said, let's get into the So collection. starting at the very top of the shelf above all the movies and everything, the first thing I have is a collector's set of plush droids from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. So in the left there, you'll see a BB-8, Dio, and R2-D2. And then right beside it on the right there, I have the art of Star Wars The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. I do eventually want to get all of them. There is a few more that I've seen on Amazon and chapters.ca that I really, really want. That collection will grow, just hasn't been completed yet, but that's what I have right now. 
And on the very top of the second shelf isn't much, just my giant merchandise bundle box I got for The Rise of Skywalker from the Disney Movie Club. I really like this poster from The Rise of Skywalker, so that's why I keep that there. I think it looks really cool on top. And I keep inside that box just collectible movies. I've said in previous videos how I'm currently trying to collect all my movies onto Blu-ray. And when I do get a movie on Blu-ray that I already have on regular DVD, most of the time I will donate that movie. However, there are a couple that are very special that I don't want to get rid of. For example, I have a collector's pack of all three Captain America movies. And so even though I have an entire collection of all of the Marvel movies, I didn't want to get rid of that. So that's one thing, for example, that's in the box. And we have a couple other collectible movies that stay in there that we have other versions of that we just don't want to get rid of. <laughs> so starting off with the first shelf of movies, this shelf starts with numbered movies and goes a little bit into the B movies. And the only little thing I have on this shelf is this little baby Prince Adam Funko Pop from the new Beauty and the Beast movie. I do eventually want to put something else Beauty and the Beast on this shelf. I know I have packed away in storage tons and tons of other Beauty and the Beast stuff. So I just need to go through what I have and see what else I can put on the shelf. For now, we just have Prince Adam hanging out with the Beauty and the Beast movies. So the very first movies I have are 101 Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians 2, Patches London Adventure, and then the live action 101 Dalmatians as well as the live action 102 Dalmatians. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, I have a combo pack of The Absent-Minded Professor as well as Son of Flubber, and then right beside it I keep the Robin Williams Flubber, The Adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad, Aladdin, combo pack of Aladdin Return of Jafar as well as Aladdin and the King of Thieves, and then the new live-action Aladdin, Alexander and the Terrible, Horrible, No Good, Very Bad Day, Alice in Wonderland, the live action Alice in Wonderland, and the live action Alice Through the Looking Glass. Angels in the Outfield, volumes one through five of the Walt Disney Animation Collection. So there's Mickey and the Beanstalk, The Three Little Pigs, The Prince and the Pauper, The Tortoise and the Hare, and Wind in the Willows as well as volume six and seven of the animation collection. Six is The Reluctant Dragon and then Mickey's Christmas Carol. Annie, The Aristocats, Around the World in 80 Days, The Combo Pack of Atlantis, The Lost Empire, as well as Atlantis, Milo's Return, Bambi and Bambi 2, Beauty and the Beast, Beauty and the Beast, Belle's Magical World, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas, and the live action Beauty and the Beast. Bedknobs and Broomsticks, Bedtime Stories, The BFG, Big Hero 6, as well as the Big Hero 6 TV series, Back in Action. Now moving on to the next shelf. These movies go from B to D. The only little thing I have on this shelf is this little bolt that I bought at the Disney store. He is from the Little Big Feet collection, I think it was called. And I do have a few of these little guys throughout my shelf. And he obviously kind of sits in front of the movie Bolt. Blackbeard's Ghost. The Black Cauldron. Bolt. Brave. Bridge to Terabithia. The combo pack of Brother Bear and Brother Bear 2. A Bug's Life. Cadet Kelly, Camp Rock, Cars, Cars 2, and Cars 3, Castle in the Sky from Studio Ghibli, Celebrating Mickey, Chicken Little, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers, A Christmas Carol, The Chronicles of Narnia Trilogy, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, and Voyage of the Dawn Treader. Voyage of the Dawn Treader, fun fact, is actually 20th Century Fox, which at the time it was made, wasn't owned by Disney, but it is now owned by Disney, so I have it for that purpose. Also because I wanted to have the entire trilogy. Cinderella, then I have a combo pack of Cinderella 2, Dreams Come True, as well as Cinderella 3, A Twist in Time, and then the live action Cinderella. The Disney Classics Collection. This collection includes Darby O'Gill and the Little People, The No Mobile, the one and only genuine original family band, and The Happiest Millionaire. 
Coco, Confessions of a Teenage Drama Queen, Cool Runnings, The Country Bears, Cowbells, Volume 1 and Volume 2 of Darkwing Duck, The Descendants, Dinosaur, Disney Parks, Where the Dreams Come True. I have a few movies on my shelf that are mostly about the parks, kind of the history about the parks, and this is one of them. So I wouldn't necessarily say that this is from like Walt Disney Studios or anything. However, it's about Disney. It's about the history of the parks and whatnot. So that's why I have all of these included. And right beside that one is another one exactly the same. This is Disneyland Resort Imagineering the Magic. The Dogs 2 collection. This collection includes Benji, Where the Red Fern Grows, Rascal, and The Journey of Natty Gan. I don't have the Dogs 1 collection because when I looked at the Dogs 1 collection, I already owned all those movies separately on their own. So I figured there was no point in getting that collection. So that's why I just have the Dogs 2 collection. But who knows, maybe I will eventually get that collection because I am a sucker for a combo pack. And speaking of combo packs, here's another one. This is the Don Knotts collection. This one includes the Apple Dumpling Gang, the Apple Dumpling Gang Rides Again, Hot Lead and Cold Feet, and Gus. Doug's first movie. And I have volume one, volume two, and volume three of DuckTales. DuckTales the movie, Treasure of the Lost Lamp. And then I have a few episodes from the new DuckTales series. So the first one is the pilot episode, DuckTales Woohoo. And then the second one is DuckTales Destination Adventure, which includes eight episodes of the new DuckTales series. Moving on to the next shelf, I have two little plushes on here. First one is a little Sorcerer Mickey keychain that I picked up when I was living in Disney World. This guy has come with me to a lot of places and I love him so much and I love Sorcerer Mickey so he sits with my Fantasia movies. And next is Duck Detective, which is kind of a little character from the TV series Gravity Falls. Not a very big character, there was a small reference to him in one episode but I kind of love him and so Sam bought me this for Christmas. So we have a little duck detective with Gravity Falls. Starting with the movies now, we have Dumbo as well as the live action Dumbo. Eight Below, a Blu-ray combo pack of The Emperor's New Groove as well as Kronk's New Groove. Enchanted. Then I have a special edition box set of Fantasia as well as Fantasia 2000. Finding Nemo as well as Finding Dory. The Finest Hours. Flight of the Navigator, a combo pack of The Fox and the Hound as well as The Fox and the Hound 2, Frankenweenie, the original Freaky Friday as well as the remake of Freaky Friday, Frozen and Frozen 2, Fun and Fancy Free, G-Force, The Game Plan, Gargoyles Season 1, Gargoyles Season 2 Volume 1, and Gargoyles Season 2 Volume 2. George of the Jungle, Glory Road, The Good Dinosaur, Goof Troop Volume 1, Volume 2, and the Christmas special Have Yourself a Goofy Little Christmas, A Goofy Movie and an Extremely Goofy Movie. And last thing on this shelf is Gravity Falls The Complete Series. Now on to the next shelf. I keep two things on this shelf. The first one is this very old piggy bank that used to belong to my sister. I found this at her house one day and I asked her if I could have it because it's so old and it has so many characters on it that you'd never really see, for example, Merlin. And then the second thing I keep on my shelf on this shelf is this candle by Walter and Rosie. It is called Foolish Mortal and it is sort of supposed to be scented like the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland or Disney World and my friend Tori actually gave this to me. She gave this to me about two years ago and as you can see I have not burned it because it's too special so now it sits up on the shelf where I keep the Haunted Mansion movie. First movie on this shelf is The Great Mouse Detective. Then we have a combo pack of Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge. Then I also have Halloween Town High and Return to Halloween Town. The Haunted Mansion, 
Have a Laugh Volume 1, Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4. Heavyweights. The Herbie 4 movie collection, which includes The Love Bug, Herbie Rides Again, Herbie Goes to Monte Carlo, and Herbie Goes Bananas, and then as well I have Herbie Fully Loaded. Hercules. High School Musical, High School Musical 2, and High School Musical 3, Senior Year, Hocus Pocus, Holes, Home on the Range, Homeward Bound, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, as well as the combo pack of Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves, and Honey, I Blew Up the Kid, Howell's Moving Castle, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, as well as The Hunchback of Notre Dame 2, Ice Princess, In Search of the Castaways, the Incredibles and The Incredibles 2, Inside Out, Inspector Gadget and Inspector Gadget 2, Into the Woods, Invincible, James and the Giant Peach, John Carter, and the last movie on this shelf is Jungle to Jungle. This shelf I have three little things displayed. First thing is this little light up Mickey Mouse head. I actually bought this in New Zealand. And then I have another little big foot. This is Max from The Little Mermaid. And then I don't know where this little fellow came from. And this is actually Hawkeye from the Marvel movies. So he sits with all the Marvels. So first movie on this shelf, we have The Jungle Book, The Jungle Book 2, and then the two different live action Jungle Books. Did you know that there was another one besides the CGI one that came out in 2016? Because I knew about it and I had a hell of a time trying to find this movie for my collection. Then we have The Kid, Kiki's Delivery Service, the Kim Possible 4 Disc Collection. This collection includes Kim Possible, The Secret Files, Kim Possible, The Villain Files, and then the two movies, Kim Possible, A Stitch in Time, and Kim Possible, So the Drama. The Kurt Russell Collection, which includes Now You See Him, Now You Don't, The Strongest Man in the World, The Computer Ward Tennis Shoes, and The Horse in the Gray Flannel Suit. Lady and the Tramp and Lady and the Tramp 2 Scamp's Adventure. Lemonade Mouth. Can we just talk about this movie for a minute? This is my favorite Disney Channel movie ever and I could not for the life of me find it anywhere. I know I said how I had a hell of a time finding that one live action Jungle Book, but this movie was so hard to find. It is currently on Disney Plus, which is amazing. However, it being my favorite Disney Channel movie, I really wanted it on DVD and I finally found it and I'm so happy to finally have this movie in my collection. Life Size, a Blu-ray combo pack of Lilo and Stitch and Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch Has a Glitch, The Lion King, The Lion King 2, Simba's Pride, the Lion King one and a half, and then the live action remake of The Lion King. The Little Mermaid, and then a Blu-ray combo pack of The Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Sea, as well as The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning. The Lizzie McGuire movie, The Lone Ranger, Make Mine Music, Maleficent and Maleficent, Mistress of Evil. Sorry about the glare, this is Mars Needs Moms. The Marvel Studios Cinematic Universe 23 Movie Collection. This collection includes everything from the first Iron Man up until Spider-Man Far From Home. Mary Poppins and Mary Poppins Returns. McFarland, Meet the Robinsons. And then the last movie on this shelf is Melody Time. Moving on to the next shelf. This shelf I have two little things on as you can see. First thing is we have another super old Disney piggy bank. So this one again has a ton of characters that you just don't really see a lot of things of. We have Merlin and Archimedes again. And the biggest character on here that you never see anywhere is Madame Mim from The Sword in the Stone as well as Elliot from Pete's Dragon. And then the second thing we have is just a little plush shark. So he's not really Disney. However, I thought he would fit in nicely with all my Disney nature movies. Okay, starting the movies, we have Mickey's House of Villains, Mickey Mouse, Merry and Scary, which is a Halloween and Christmas holiday collection, the Blu-ray combo pack of Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas. Then I have a boxed set of The Mighty Ducks, The Mighty Ducks 2 and The Mighty Ducks 3. 
Mighty Joe Young, Million Dollar Arm, Miracle, Moana, Monsters Incorporated and Monsters University, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Mulan and Mulan 2, Season 1, Season 2, and Season 3 of The Muppet Show, the boxed set collection of The Muppets, The Muppet Movie, The Great Muppet Caper, Muppet Treasure Island, The Muppet Christmas Carol, and Muppets Most Wanted. My Favorite Martian, My Neighbor Totoro, National Treasure and National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets. Here are some of my Disney nature movies. So I have African Cats, Bears, Born in China, Chimpanzee, and The Crimson Wing as well as Earth, Monkey Kingdom, Oceans, and Wings of Life. I apologize in advance because I'm most likely going to say this name completely incorrectly, but Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, Newsies, The Nightmare Before Christmas, The Nutcracker and the Four Realms, The Odd Life of Timothy Green, Old Yeller and Old Yeller Sequel, Savage Sam, and the last movie on this shelf is Oliver and Company. So this shelf, I only have one little thing on. And of course, it's my little Perry the Platypus who sits on top of all my Phineas and Ferb movies. He is my favorite. I love my little Perry. On this shelf, I have seasons one through four of Once Upon a Time, Operation Dumbo Drop, Oz the Great and Powerful, The Parent Trap, The Parent Trap 2, and the remake of The Parent Trap. The Blu-ray combo pack of Peter Pan and Return to Neverland. Pete's Dragon and the remake of Pete's Dragon. Then we have all my Phineas and Ferb movies. We have Phineas and Ferb, The Days of Summer, The Fast and the Phineas, Marvel Mission, Star Wars, A Very Perry Christmas, and then the Phineas and Ferb movie Across the Second Dimension. Pinocchio. Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl, Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides, and Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Men Tell No Tales. Pixar Short Films Collection 1, Collection 2, and Collection 3. Planes and Planes 2, Fire and Rescue. Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2, Journey to the New World. Ponyo, Porco Rosso, Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. The Blu-ray combo pack of The Princess Diaries and The Princess Diaries 2, The Royal Engagement. And the last movie on this shelf is The Princess and the Frog. So on to the next shelf. As you can see again on here, I have two little plushy things. The first little guy is a little red elk. He is from the movie Princess Mononoke. In the movie, his name is Yukul, but this little guy is named Pete. And then we also have my last little big feet, and this is Winston, and he is from the Disney short film Feast. So first movie on this shelf, we have Studio Ghibli's Princess Mononoke, Princess Protection Program, Prom, Queen of Katwe, Ratatouille, Recess Schools Out, Remember the Titans, the Blu-ray combo pack of The Rescuers and The Rescuers Down Under, Robin Hood, The Rocketeer, The Rookie, the Blu-ray combo pack of Salutos Amigos and The Three Caballeros, the Blu-ray combo pack of The Santa Claus, The Santa Claus 2, and The Santa Claus 3, The Escape Clause, Saving Mr. Banks, The Scarecrow of Romney Marsh, The Secret of the Magic Gourd, the Secret World of Arietti, Secretariat, The Shaggy Dog, The Shaggy DA, and then the remake of The Shaggy Dog, The Walt Disney Short Films Collection, The Disney Singalongs Collection, Beach Party, Camp Out, Flix Musical Adventure, and It's a Small World, Sky High, Sleeping Beauty, Smart House, Snow Dogs, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, Something Wicked This Way Comes, Song of the South, The Sorcerer's Apprentice, Spirited Away, and Starstruck. On to the next shelf. So on this shelf, I have four different little Star Wars guys. 
I have my crocheted BB-8, which you guys saw in my Disneyland present video, as well as my surprise package from Allie video. And along with BB-8, I have my three little porks that Allison also made for me. So here we have Porgoni Weaver, my brother named this guy. Deep Fried, he was named by Sam. And then Poor Rogi, this one I named. So starting off this shelf, I have the Star Wars Saga. So this collection includes A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi, The Phantom Menace, Attack of the Clones, and Revenge of the Sith. Star Wars The Force Awakens, The Last Jedi, and The Rise of Skywalker. Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, as well as Solo, A Star Wars Story. The Swiss Family Robinson, The Sword in the Stone, Tangled, Tangled the Series, Before Ever After, and Queen for a Day. Tarzan, Tarzan 2, and Tarzan and Jane. Teacher's Pet, Teen Beach Movie, and Teen Beach Movie 2. The Three Lives of Thomasina. The Three Musketeers. Mickey, Donald, and Goofy, The Three Musketeers. Tinkerbell, Secret of the Wings, and Tinkerbell, Pirate Fairy. Tom and Huck. Tomorrowland. Toy Story. Toy Story 2, Toy Story 3, Toy Story 4, and Toy Story That Time Forgot. Tower of Terror, Treasure Island, and the last movie on this shelf is Treasure Planet. On to the next shelf. So I only have one little thing on here, but then I have one of my movies kind of displayed a little bit differently than the rest, as you can tell. So the only little thing we have on this shelf is a little plush of Eeyore. So he obviously sits with the Winnie the Pooh movies. And this little guy was actually Sam's. He's had this little guy for a long time since he was a baby. And we just thought it'd be cute to add to all the Winnie the Pooh movies. So the first movie displayed on the left hand side there is The Walt Disney Treasures, The Adventures of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. So I have this displayed differently because one, it's really special because I absolutely love Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. Sam got me this special collection of all the Oswald shorts as well as kind of the history of Oswald and I just thought it was so special. Also, it's a little too tall for this shelf. It doesn't quite fit. So putting it on this stand, it kind of keeps it at an angle. So one, it's displayed a little bit nicer and also it fits. Then right next to Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, we have Tron and Tron Legacy, Tuck Everlasting, Twitches and Twitches 2, The Ugly Dachshund, Up, Wally, The PBS Special, An American Experience on Walt Disney, the Walt Disney World promotional videos for the Disney Cruise Line, Epcot, Disney Studios, Animal Kingdom, and Magic Kingdom, The Watcher in the Woods, The Weekenders Volume 1 and The Weekenders Volume 2, Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, Whisper of the Heart and The Cat Returns, White Fang, The Many Adventures of Winnie the Pooh, Winnie the Pooh, A Very Merry Pooh Year, Pooh's Grand Adventure, the Tigger Movie, Piglet's Big Movie, Winnie the Pooh, and Christopher Robin. So we are on to the last and final shelf, which doesn't have very much on it as of right now, but there's lots of room to grow. So the only thing I have on this shelf on the right hand side there is a tin. So this tin I bought in Disneyland and it actually used to have chocolate in it, but I just ate the chocolate and kept the tin. And on the back side there, you can see there's a whole bunch of the Disney rides as well as the Disney characters. And inside the tin, I just keep some collectible Disney pens that I have. So the first one is Pearl from Finding Nemo. And then I just have two Disney ones that some of my friends bought me. I think one of my friends bought me this from Chinatown in Vancouver. And then I have two Mickey Mouse Funko Pop pens. We have Mickey as a fireman and then Steamboat Willie. The first movie on this shelf is Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Escape to Witch Mountain, Return from Witch Mountain, and Race to Witch Mountain, Wreck-It Ralph, and Ralph Breaks the Internet, A Wrinkle in Time, and then the very last movie I have is Zootopia. So there you go, everyone. And that was my entire Disney movie collection, all 431 movies as of this moment. I have more coming in as we speak. 
I have gotten tons and tons of questions from people asking me that if I will continue to collect Disney movies even though Disney Plus exists now and the answer to that is a hundred percent I will always collect these movies because I just love having the physical copy of them. Everyone kind of has their quirky thing that they collect and Disney movies is definitely mine. I know there's Disney Plus. I know that probably most of these movies are on Disney Plus. However, there are a few that aren't on Disney Plus that I have. I just love collecting things. I love when I can go to the store and find something I didn't already have or improve upon my collection in some way, whether that's upgrading things to Blu-ray or 4K. I also just love the feeling of finding something super duper old or something that no one has heard of and being like, yeah, check out this movie that no one has ever heard of. For example, I got probably eight or nine people DMing me on Instagram when I posted that I had Song of the South. Everyone was like, where the heck did you get that? Or I had a lot of people asking me about this movie, The Secret of the Magic Gourd. They're like, what the heck is that. Please let me know that you like this video by giving it a like or giving it a comment. And if you did like it, I will probably maybe do this once a year. If I do continue to do this like once a year, like update on all the movies I have, it definitely won't be as long because I feel like I won't have to explain everything again and again and again, where I felt like I kind of had to explain my organization process. So if you liked this, let me know and I'll make this a yearly thing to update you guys on all of my movies. So as of right now, which is uh, May, my watch doesn't take the date, May 28th, I have 431 movies. So if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for sticking around. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun putting this video together for you. It was a process filming every single shelf but I had fun with it and I hope you guys did too and please like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video I post new videos every single Friday plus bonus videos every once in a while so I hope to see you around again and I will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching bye everybody